Ninak is an agricultural entrepreneur in Phnom Penh. He never thought he'd go to prison over a social media post. But he spent 18 months in jail after being found guilty of incitement for making sarcastic comments about the government in 2020. He had criticised what he saw as its reluctance to declare a state of emergency to control the spread of the coronavirus. They emphasise that I am spreading provocative information at a time when our country is in crisis. They said that while the government is controlling the risk of COVID, I am mocking the government. Activists are concerned by cases like these and say the space for free expression in Cambodia is about to shrink even more. In February last year, the government issued a regulation to establish a government-run internet gateway through which all internet traffic in the country will be channeled. Here's the thing. It seems that some articles in the regulations will give authorities the right to monitor all information on the internet. They can block websites, companies, or take action against those who criticize the government. It is a serious blow to basic freedoms, including privacy. Under the decree, operators must retain and share metadata. There are still quite a few things not known about the Internet Gateway. Its exact technical infrastructure, the companies and agencies that will be supporting it. Civil rights groups say they are concerned the Gateway will help increase the government's censorship capabilities. The government has repeatedly rejected such concerns. The regulation states that the purpose of the Gateway is to manage Internet connections to protect national security and strengthen revenue collection. In all sectors, the royal government must take care of the national interest. The sub-decree on establishing the National Internet Gateway is the first step. We protect users and the service provider so that it is under the control of the government and for revenue. And secondly, we fight against online crimes. The directive was originally slated for implementation in February, but it's been delayed indefinitely due to the pandemic and technical difficulties. Still, with a general election due next year, rights activists are concerned that once it's in place, it will further limit dissenting views online. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.